Hi, I'm Shelly Reed. I'm the first grade teacher at Mission Dolores Academy, and this is my second year with the blended learning model. Last year, what I found was the kids weren't buying into it as much, so what I wanted was I wanted the kids to really buy into the program and to really kind of feel like they wanted to succeed with it. So what I thought was doing more of an incentive program for the blended learning model um, with the computer programs that we use. Uh, kind of like we get paid as a paycheck is kind of their payment system for doing well on the computers. So what I have is I have it broken down into incentive charts, computer for language arts, and then computer for math. So each student has a row, has their name, and the lines up on top are how many activities they have passed. So as you can see, we have one student who has one passed, but then you have some other students who are passing up to 22. When students reach 10, you see a P. When they get the P marked covered up, that just means a prize, and they um, are called to a, the prize box. And this happens, I do this once a week. I usually um, tally up the scores on the weekends, and then the following week, I mark it on the incentive chart and call students over. To get the number of stickers to add each week, you need to set up a report in Compass that will be emailed to you each week. You can get the instructions for setting up the, that report from the resources linked below if you're watching this on YouTube. You only need to set it up once, and then the report will automatically be emailed to you each week. So every weekend I go to my mail, open the Compass report, and then I open another Excel document that has what's called a macro. A macro is a program embedded in the Excel worksheet that will automatically turn this big ugly spreadsheet into something very usable for me. If you want, you can download the macro from the link below. The document is titled Sticker Total Macro. So I open the macro document and click Enable Macros. Then I go back to my Compass report, mine is titled Math Weekly Sticker Update, and I click the shortcut Option Command S. The document tells me how many stickers each student earned this week. It's basically the total number of past activities divided by five. So I copy that and then open my sticker totals worksheet, paste this week's sticker totals into this week's column, and it automatically calculates how many stickers the student should have on the wall chart. I see that my first student here should have five stickers. So I compare that with how many are on the chart and add new stickers as needed. It's really nice because every week they see the incentive chart, they know what the P means, they know how many, how many standards they have yet to pass to get a prize. So um, it's been really nice the kids have bought into it. I didn't have um, as many kids excited last year about using the program, so they're excited. Um, they check the incentive charts every week. So, um, so far it's been working well. So math, what we have is... Andrea, you made 10, so come on over. Good job, Andrea. We have Luis, you got to 20, so you get another prize. Good job. We have JRAM, JJ. JJ and Sophia, you've made it.